was real good, man. You know, we just came out there and flew around. Yeah. You guys won uh, three games in a row. What's the overall feel of the team? Oh, uh, you know, uh, at first we kind of started off pretty slow. So now we're kind of picking it up a little bit. And, you know, it's a good feeling when you win, so. What does it take to kind of keep focused and keep rolling at the level you've been at? You just got to practice. Time? Just practice hard, man. Practice makes permanent, so. Perfect practice makes perfect. So that's that's basically what we focus on right now is just practicing hard every day, no matter who we play. Coach Trailer said you guys obviously talked about the Don't Eat the Cheese mantra mm -hmm. this week and mm -hmm. even put some receipts up on the board. Was there oh, anything yeah. that sort of jumped out to you about going through some of those things? Nah, I mean, we kind of had the same thing last year when we was having a pretty good uh, – good year so it's basically just don't start feeling yourself man you got to just stay focused and no matter who you're playing you got to stay focused so we can keep winning you know we really haven't done nothing yet we still got to win the bowl game we still got a lot more games we still got to win so that's kind of just what don't achieve man have you guys been so successful putting pressure in the backfield for opposing offenses practice man we got good uh offense alive scout offense alive to help us give us good looks so Honestly, man, we do it in practice, and it kind of just transfer over to the game. It doesn't seem like you guys are bringing a lot of blitzes. It looks like it's just a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff. Is that is that kind of the way you see things happening? Yeah, I mean, we blitz one-on-one. -on -one. We kind of do a little bit of everything, so. Do you feel like this team is kind of hitting its highest level right now? How do you I just... can't really hear you say something. Sorry, I was going to ask if the team is kind of hitting its highest level right now. How do you nah, we're not hitting progress? our highest level. Not yet. Nah, not yet. We, we, still got, we still got a lot more ball out there. A lot, a lot more ball out there. So we still just stacking days. Looking at East Carolina, what stands out to you about what how, what they'll bring? I mean, honestly, man, the way I, I kind of have my specific perspective of games is I treat everybody the same. Mm -hmm. Zero, zero, one and six, it don't really matter your record, you know. We, that's how you got to look at football. You can't just look at it as, oh, this team is this, this team. Because if you actually look at the film, the team don't actually look bad. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 we practicing just how we would practice for any other team. How would you say you've played this season, personally? Uh, I think I played okay. I mean, I, of course, I got a lot more in the tank that I want to empty out, so I ain't going to say I made it yet. So, What are some things you're still working on or ways you want to develop? Uh, I just want to be a better team player, you know. I want to, you know, have more tackles. And, you know, uh, what all defensive football players want. I just I need just need more. We all need more, though, you know. The whole, as a defense, we need more, so. What did it mean to you to have your first sack in this game against Xavier? It meant a lot, you know, but that ain't that ain't my goal, you know. It's just one, so I just I just pray that I keep getting some more. I pray I get one this week. What's it like for you being part of such a deep defensive line group? Oh, that's a good thing. I love it, man. You know, we get tired, next man up. You know, we three deep, so we always rotate. No matter if you're a one, two, or three, we always gonna rotate. No matter. How do you approach that mentally? Probably having to make the most out of some limited opportunities at times. I don't really think it's me having to make the most. I really just think it's me playing my part. So, yeah. What brought you to UTSA initially? Uh, Coach Wright. Coach Wright brought me here from Kansas State. Uh, he gave me the opportunity, him and Coach Trailer. So, kind of took that. And then it was close to home. You know, I was all the way in Kansas. So. Yeah. When you look back at your initial recruiting process, what was it that made you think Kansas State might be the right spot? Man, honestly, I want to say it's because probably it was a big school. And, you know, the coaches. And then I got down there. I didn't really think about the area. Cause, you know, I, I'm a city boy. I came from the city. So, and you go out there, that's a country town. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's kind of how that worked. When did you decide that it just might be better to look somewhere else? Or how did that process play out? Oh, uh, it was my freshman year, the first semester of my freshman year. And I was just like, oh, I don't really know if I can do this. I need to get back home, close to my family. Has UTSA and the San Antonio experience been sort of what you expected? Oh, yeah, I love it out here. I plan on staying out here after college, so it's been everything. Everything's been good for me. What do you want to do? What's your sort of path if it's not? Uh, I'll probably go to the oil field, honestly. Yeah, open up some uh, car washes, a chain of car washes. That's my goal. Huh. How did you land on that? Uh, well, my family, I got a background family. They all in the oil field. And I want more than one source of income, so that's kind of where my car wash thing comes in from. What's your major there? Multidisciplinary studies, yeah. but I don't think I'm gonna use it. Yeah, yeah. Is there a reason you thought car wash? Uh, nah, nothing specific. I just, I know the wash tub, they got their little chains, and I kind of mm -hmm. want to do something like that, so. Huh. Cool. Good deal. Appreciate okay. it. Thanks Thank a lot. Yeah.